Just north of the Golden Ears Bridge, a 1.6 kilometer pipe lies on the ground, ready to be pulled. Yes, pulled, deep below the Fraser River. It's a project that will accommodate population growth and improve the wastewater treatment system in the eastern areas of the region. The pipe will eventually carry sewage from a new pump station in Maple Ridge to the Northwest Langley Wastewater Treatment Plant. For the engineering team, the huge challenge was how to get the pipe across the Fraser River. A horizontal hole was drilled 30 meters below the riverbed of the Fraser, and then part way into Maple Ridge. A piece of equipment called a reamer was then pulled through the hole, expanding it enough to accommodate the pipe. The sections of the pipe were laid out on the ground on the Maple Ridge side. There's no truck in the world that would be able to fit uh, 1.6 kilometers of pipe on its back, so all the pipe had to come in separate pieces for transport and delivery to site. So the crews have been welding those pieces of pipe and making those connections over the last three months. There were several reasons why Metro Vancouver's team decided to install the pipe far beneath the bottom of the Fraser. In doing this, we aren't limiting river user access. We're not doing any in-river construction. So it's helpful in that aspect, and it also reduces the environmental impacts on the river. A massive drill on the south side of the river used cables and hooks to start pulling the pipe through the hole under the Fraser. This required an enormous amount of force. Meanwhile, on the Maple Ridge side of the river, cranes had lifted the section of the pipe closest to the Fraser. And so what that does is it makes sure that the pipe is the right angle to go properly into the hole that's been drilled. The rest of the pipe was carefully laid out on rollers as it was too heavy to rest directly on the ground. As this drill rig is pulling the pipe under the river from the south, the tail end of the pipe is slowly moving on these rollers. Everybody's checking these rollers, so that's very critical. If a roller were to fail, the pipe were to slip off onto the steel frame of the roller and, and the coating of the pipe were to get scraped or damaged, that's a problem. There was some nervousness as the pipe moved along, but months of rigorous planning paid off. Definitely exciting to see the tail end of the pipe here. Uh, as we advance uh, further south. We're, we're not out of the woods yet, but it's nice to see that we're progressing quite smoothly at this point. It took 48 hours to pull the entire pipe under the river. And this was just the first pipe. A second one was later installed alongside it. The overall project will wrap up around mid-2023.